what is up guys this is drew what's for dinner and tonight we are obviously making some fish and chips i have some proper chips uh, these are yukon gold potatoes i didn't see in any of the videos that i watched before making this video of them blanching them i did however hear one girl say that she dried them off that makes me think she blanched them just blanch them in some water about a half hour pat them dry uh, very simple uh, some of the stuff you don't even need we're going to go with a beer batter uh, sh a fish tonight and you're going to need all-purpose flour no matter what you use of course we've got lemon season some black pepper kosher salt you can use any kind of salt you like i'm going to use a little old bay a lot of you won't need to use it if you don't want to and any kind of beer that you like, I would prefer American beer because uh, I don't want to waste this. And then I can only get uh, Pacific cod. You can use Alaskan cod is what I would prefer or Atlantic cod. This is what was sold to me and it wasn't cheap, but um, yeah. So I'm going to get this cut up in some strips and then we're also going to heat up our oil back here and we'll be right back. So before you beer batter the fish, obviously you're going to have to put it in some flour. This is very simple. We're just going to go about a cup of flour. And these uh, pieces of fish are pretty big, so very simple. Kosher salt, mix this up a little bit. Some black peppercorn. You can just use any black pepper that you want. I'm trying to get some of the flavors on there before um, they go into the beer batter. There's that. Here, this is a somewhat optional. You don't have to use beer. I want to go up to half a beer in here to get the beer batter going. And this is also optional whether you want to sift your flour or not. If you don't want to, uh, just go ahead and already have it in there. But yeah. Almost like your bacon. But we're not. It's going to give a little smoother consistency. There we go. Again, with the kosher salt. And with the black pepper. A lot of people sometimes will add in some lime with this as well. We're just going to give it a good whisk. You see the bubbles. It's getting pretty thick. You want almost like a pancake batter, like. Into it. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little thin. Okay, so we are going to go right in with the chips. And these aren't french fries, and these aren't steak fries. They're similar to steak fries, they're thick cut, but let's see where we're at. That's where we want them. Down a bit. You want to have 350 to 375 degrees. You're going to go for about 10 minutes until they're golden brown. A couple other ones here. We're going to move them around and we'll be right back when we pull them out. Okay, these went for about nine minutes. 
and they're going to get put onto a tray and get put in the oven at 225 Fahrenheit degrees. What you want to do when you start to coat your fish, you get everything covered, all sides. your dredge I don't know if you guys will be able to see it basically you want to just sit it in there let it coat the whole thing and when you go to pull it out you'll want to you'll be able to see this drip all the excess off of there because all of that will just cook I'm gonna sit this back in here I've got about almost two pounds more to go make sure all of the excess drains off unless you want it super extra crispy which I don't but you don't want to go and go away from you one more piece in there and you're really only going to want to go for about two minutes on one side. Flip it. I don't know if you can see it, but you want to take some of the oil and try to get over the top. Face cam guy.